Giving and receiving Christmas gifts is a big part of the fun, but some of the most valuable gifts do not take a material form. Shukri Tofi is a creative entrepreneur, movie producer and CEO who believes that shared knowledge may be the greatest gift of all and that wisdom may be found in unexpected places. I was a penniless student um, and I was a cab driver in Cape Town. As an entrepreneur and as people running our own business, who did we look to to find Shukri is an inspiring speaker. But that isn't his day job. Together with Amar Singh, he's the founder of The Fort, an integrated media and content agency with a focus on conception and production. It's a thriving enterprise today, but it began in a Woodstock warehouse not long after Shukri and Amar graduated. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Welcome to The Fort. Thank you so much for having me. What was the idea behind creating The Fort? We really just wanted to create a space that nurtured and protected creativity. It all started back at university when I was trying to find innovative ways to pay back my student loans at UCT. And we started shooting videos and doing creative campaigns and things like that. And uh, here we are 10 years later. Have you always been a creative? I'm a lawyer by trade, but yes, a large part of what I do is creative. And I think being an entrepreneur, you have to be creative. You have such a fascinating story. I cannot wait to spend the rest of the day with you. Cool, well, let's go check things out. So this is our training center where we get a lot of our team involved in working with young creatives and trying to sort of train them and get them ready for the working world. And then we have a number of meeting rooms. This is our creative studio where the action actually happens. And then the production team sits over there and then all the way down there is actually the studio. And so we can conceptualize, ideate, produce, finish and kind of complete amazing pieces of work that we see you know, all over South Africa and the rest of the continent. Now, I'm so curious, I have to ask you, what were some of the most funniest or most interesting moments you experienced being a cab driver? I mean, I feel like it's one of those like uh, client privileges where you don't speak outside of the cab. <laughs> But people connect with you because you're complete strangers and they can kind of tell you things about their lives that they wouldn't really tell you. And I think that's really where the amazing uh, experience came from, was just connecting with people from all over the world, different walks of life, um, happy people, sad people, and um, it was a special time, yeah. So let's go to Fort Cafe. Let's do it. Both Shukri and Amar use journals as idea incubators, and they're enthusiastic about this technique. Tell me about the Rainmakers Journal. So the Rainmakers Journal is a thought leadership platform that encourages young people to journal. What we're really trying to do is to make people know that if they write their thoughts and ideas down and they set goals, that they can actually unlock the wisdom within themselves. And I think when you write something down, it actually changes the frequency of it and it makes it real. Why the name Rainmakers? In African tradition, a rainmaker is someone who calls and prays and chants for the rain to come. And in contemporary business terms, a rainmaker is someone who brings in new business to an organization. We've taken a more holistic and spiritual view and a rainmaker is someone who not only brings money or business into your family or into your organization, but also knowledge. Has journaling changed your life in any tangible way? I think any great idea I've ever had has come from a journal. So good ideas, bad ideas. You think that it sort of comes from nowhere and you'll be like, wow, I've come up with this really cool idea. And then you kind of trace it back and you realize that that thought came from somewhere else. So it's been a really, really powerful thing for me and it's something that I'm really passionate about to make sure that young people and people in general go out there and actually journal. Now, I love the idea of keeping a journal. Do you have any tips for me? It's really not, I met Karishma and you know, dear diary kind of uh, journal. It can be as simple as a thought or a word or writing something down. So to start off with, I always encourage people to set goals and to make them specific and measurable and attainable and reasonable and time bound. And once you've done that, I think there are other things that come from that because how do you then make sure you're doing the actions associated with achieving that goal? How can someone get involved with the Rainmakers project? We do a number of things at the Rainmakers Journal and firstly we do workshops and sort of uh, sessions with young people to help them journal and we give them a journal. And then we also do a number of really interesting creative projects. So Unwritten, the film, was done to sort of show and exemplify just how a journal can come to life. Speaking of Unwritten, I can't wait to hear more about this movie. Well, let's go to my office and I'll show you and tell you more about it. Awesome. The documentary Unwritten chronicles Shukri's journey in search of enlightenment in the Kathmandu Valley of Nepal and has won awards at international film festivals in Amsterdam and Hollywood. Why do I want so much more for myself? It's an obsession. I'm tired of the same authors and writers telling me how to live my life, run my business, 
I want something real. I want the knowledge and wisdom of ordinary people. Unpublished, unheard, unwritten. How has Unwritten impacted your life? I think the Unwritten project as a whole and the film has taken away a lot of restlessness that both Amr and I felt before we left. One of the most important things to come out of the film is really that we're so busy trying to conquer Everest that we forget about the splendor at the foot of the mountain and that there's beauty in everyday things. That was such a beautiful analogy about Everest. Is that why you chose to go to Nepal? We wanted to go to a place that had some old world wisdom. We had been told and read that it was a museum without walls. And in going there, it really was. It's a place where heritage and culture is really lived and has endured. It was a place that's just such an interesting counterpoint to our normal lives in South Africa. What do you hope to achieve with the film? I hope that people are inspired to travel and to go and explore new places and also uh, to keep a journal. I think the film brings to life the pages of a journal in a very vivid and real way. But then most importantly, I hope that people find courage in just enjoying everyday things around them. Now, you also have a beautiful family and you're clearly very busy here. How do you manage to bring it all together? I think it's hard, you know, I have a very supportive wife and family. There's really no great recipe for success around finding work-life balance. You need to kind of just make sure that everybody's on board and shares the same vision as you. Shukri invited Karishma to meet the family for a picnic. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. Hi guys! We're going to high five! Yay! Well, Yay! Yay! So I've seen you in your workspace, but what do you like to do when you're not at work? When I'm not working, I really like to spend as much time as possible with my family and, and my friends. And so just doing normal things, having a braai, uh, having picnics in the park like this. Tracy, how do you really deal with his busy schedule? It's quite tough at times, and we miss him when he's not around. But on the whole, we just do what we do. You know, we just we get by, we just go through the days, we go to school, we come back, we have fun. And when Shukri's around, we love it. But you must be so proud of everything your husband has achieved. I am so proud of everything that he's done and the ambition that he has for the future. You know, I've seen him grow his business from literally nothing into what it is now. And I'm so glad that I can be a support to him. Shukri, do you have any words of wisdom for aspiring young entrepreneurs? My words of wisdom would be to start. Try and write things down. It's going to be a really important tool for you and find time to have that one last cup of tea or picnic in the park because it all goes really, really quickly and you have to enjoy the journey. This was truly such an inspirational day. Thank you for spending time with me and introducing me to your beautiful family. But I'm now going to leave you to spend some precious moments with them and we wish you all the best for the future. Thanks for coming by. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Shukri walks the talk and he's a rainmaker not only in his business but in the lives of those who encounter him.